6 Common Types of E-Commerce Fraud That Every Online Store Needs to Know About Fraudsters are always finding new ways to steal from online businesses. Here are 6 of the most common types of e-commerce fraud that every online store needs to know about. Chargebacks Chargebacks occur when a customer disputes a charge on their credit card statement. In most cases, the customer will contact their credit card issuer to file a chargeback. The credit card issuer will then reverse the charge and refund the customer. Chargebacks can damage your business's reputation. If you have too many chargebacks, your merchant account could be shut down. Friendly fraud. Friendly fraud occurs when a customer knowingly files a chargeback. In most cases, the customer is trying to get a refund for an item they never received or for an item that was not as described. Friendly fraud can be difficult to prevent. The best way to protect your business is to keep detailed records of every transaction. You should also have a clear return and refund policy. Identity theft. Identity theft occurs when a fraudster uses someone else's personal information to make a purchase. Account takeover. Account takeover occurs when a fraudster gains access to a customer's account. Once they have access, they can make unauthorized purchases. The best way to prevent account takeover is to keep your customer's personal information safe by using SSL certificates, fraud prevention tools, and protected servers for your online store. If this feels like a lot of work, you can always use Shopify e-commerce platform that does this for you. Transaction laundering. Transaction laundering occurs when a fraudster uses a legitimate business to process fraudulent transactions. There is not much you can do personally. Card not present fraud. Card not present fraud occurs when a fraudster uses a stolen credit card to make a purchase. There are a number of software solutions available that can help you prevent fraud. Look for a tool that offers features like real-time fraud detection, velocity checks, and IP geolocation. How to protect your business from e-commerce fraud. Use a secure payment gateway. Use AVS and CVV verification. Set up fraud alerts. Use a reputable shipping company. Keep your software up to date. That's it for today. Like this video and subscribe for more e-commerce tips.